this out, we have the FPV Orca V2 by Kraisel. This thing is awesome. It came together really, really easy. Uh, it's FPV. I don't have any FPV goggles, but I do have a run cam 4K uh, camera in there for you guys to see all the awesome footage I'm gonna get of this today. Something really cool is they actually are making this as a kit. So if you guys wanna do like I've been doing on the channel where you just buy the STL files, print out your own plane and build it, that's an awesome option or else you can actually buy a kit from Kraisel. They'll have a couple different versions. They'll send you all light trunks and everything or they'll just send you the 3D printed parts. So this thing came together really easy as you guys will see in the build video just here in a second. Uh, let's take this up and see how it flies.
brought this build out to the desert for some good uh, flying. Uh, this thing came together pretty easy like you guys just saw. This weighs 490 grams with a 1000 milliamp 3 cell and also with the Runcam 4K camera in there. So if you guys are using a different camera setup, uh, that might change the weight a little bit. We have 30 amp PSC. Uh, let's set the battery all up and get this thing out and fly it. All right, that's about the CG right there. Uh, it's 11 millimeters in front of the wing. There's a little bit of a CG mark right there on both sides. Uh, this is a setup I got on the inside. We've got the run cam and the 1000 million three cells hitting pretty far forward. And I'll set the CG. But it seems right. Seems good. Yeah, do a couple tests. Doing some test launching here. <laughs> Starts to like grab by the wing. True. You ready for this? Yeah. How are you gonna launch it? Like this. There we go. Now we're getting it trimmed out a little bit. Light is really, really good. Just needed a little bit of trim up on it, and then now it's flying nice. I have no clue where it is. Oh, I know it's God. it's hard to see it. Yeah, this looks like it's flying great. Yeah, it flies good. It's hard to see it though. Yeah. I'm like having problems. So if I crash it, it's kind of lost orientation of it. That's insane how fast that is. Yeah, it's pretty fast, and that's like half the level. Yeah, guys, this thing, it flies super stable. It wants to fly fast, but that wing design on it, man, it, it flies so good. Now, I didn't put any tape on the bottom of the fuselage. They recommend to put some tape on the bottom for some strength for landing it. So let's try to bring it in for a landing. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna chop power and Try to glide it in. Hey, hey, that was pretty good. It's only uh, it's only like 500 grams, like 490 grams, so it's pretty light. Actually, it landed pretty good. Let's go check it out. Heck yeah, that turned out pretty good. Yeah, and the prop's still in one piece, and yeah, no, that worked out really nicely. Yeah, and it has a nice little skid there on the bottom right there. So it just landed right on the skid. You can put a little piece of tape on the bottom down there if you want to to add a little strength. Yeah, that thing flew super good. See this, you guys? See how it's up just a little bit? So when I first took off, it took a little bit of nose up trim. It's just about the thickness of the tail of that aileron uh, past the top of the wing. That's about how much trim I've gotten in it. Uh, and that's flying perfectly, but that's where the CG set right now. If I move the CG a little bit, it's gonna change that. So uh, just keep that in mind when you guys take off. And it is a little pitchy when I first took off. I just had to get it trimmed out a little bit right, and then it was fine. And then it really wants to fly fast. Once you get it throttled, man, that thing just tracks straight and wants to fly, it's pretty sweet. Have fun with your guys' build. And there's a link uh, in the description to get the STL files, and there's also a promo code down below. You guys will get 10% off. All right, guys, we got a fresh battery in there. We're ready for another flight. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next build.